This is a quick tutorial for the Tobermore Secure Create Wall Estimation Tool. If you have a basic understanding of how a grading plan works and how to use a simple CAD program to draw the plan view of a wall, this tutorial is for you. This wall estimator allows the user to select secure wall products, draw a plan view of the wall including grades, and automatically generate an elevation view, cross sections, and detailed quantities in a professional report. This tool is for preliminary feasibility and costing only and should not be used for bidding or construction. The design assumptions are very simple and do not take into account a number of other factors that may exist on your site, such as additional loading from other structures, handrails and fences, terracing, high water levels, etc. These elements may have a significant effect on the geogrid requirements, embedment requirements or feasibility of the wall. Always have a professional engineer conduct a final design prior to bidding or construction. At Tobermore.co.uk, the user can select Tools and Secure Create from the Options bar at the top of the professional page. Once you are in the online estimation tool, you are given the option to register. To be able to create full reports and save your projects in an online database for future reference or revisions, you will need to register for free. We highly recommend that you do this. After registering, you will see two options at the top of the page labelled Advanced and Simple. The advanced option allows you to draw your wall in plan view on the graph paper provided. The simple option allows you to just enter any number of wall sections by inputting the length of wall and height for each. The limitation for the simple mode is that it assumes the bottom of wall elevation remains constant and it does not produce a plan view of your wall for your report. The advanced option allows you to draw your wall in plan view and attach top of wall and bottom of wall grades to various points along its length. In this example, we have a proposed wall from a site plan or external works drawing. We have identified grades at the top and bottom of the wall at various points. Typically, you should include grade points or nodes at any corner, start of a curve or critical step down or step up in the wall. We will now transfer this information to our plan view and use a secure ground wall system in this example. The total wall length is 45 metres, so we will pick the site width at 50 metres. Using our site plan, we see that we require a total of 15 metres in the y direction 30 metres in the X direction. Based on this, we start drawing our wall at 5 metres in the X axis and 20 metres in the Y axis. This is so we do not run out of room. We left click on the start point and our first node is now created. We can see that the line length is shown dynamically, so we pull the line without holding down the mouse button away from our start point straight across the page for a distance of 10 metres. Here, we click on the page and create the second grade point or node. You will notice that the length of this point is shown at the node as well as at the default top of wall and bottom of wall grade of 0.91 and 0 meters. This is also shown in the table on the right. We will change the default values after we draw the wall. We continue to draw the rest of the wall using the dynamic length and angles shown to ensure the proper layout. When we have created the final node, we right click and select end wall. If you are using a tablet without a right click option, just select end wall in the toolbar after the wall is drawn. We can either left click on the individual nodes, then right click and select set grades to change the default values or just edit them within the table. You can see below on the graph paper that an elevation view is provided which shows the basic wall layout as if you were standing in front of it. Next, we select the type of loading we will assume for the wall out of three options. The default option before estimation is called flat on top and this only applies to the walls that assume there are no loads or slopes. Walls that are considered gravity are calculated automatically. We can see this within the assumptions view icon under option 1. By selecting the quick estimate function, we can see that the estimation tool now creates an elevation view that shows our wall system, the embedded block, as well as the geogrid reinforcement required, which is shown in the solid dark red line. Quantities are shown below that. For a more comprehensive report, select Create Report. The option exists here for the report to include only the tallest cross section or real cross sections. We will select Report All Sections. A new tab is then created which displays the report. All relevant information including system properties, wall planning, grading information, the elevation view, quantities and cross sections are provided. You can now print this report to a printer or a PDF file. Going back to the estimation tool, we can now save this project for future reference. Editing the wall is simple. We can add nodes, delete nodes or edit grades at any time. If the wall requires curves, we can use the curve line tool to create the appropriate layout. The curve line tool has some intelligence built into it to limit the minimum allowable radius based on the wall system you choose. 
you can see that when we use the secure ground wall system, which has a minimum radius of 2.17 meters, the curved line turns red when the radius we are drawing gets too tight. This is a simple yet effective way to ensure that we are abiding by the limitations of the product we have chosen. The curve can be adjusted afterwards by clicking on it and pulling it in or out as shown. We hope you enjoy using this powerful tool. Please keep in mind that it is for preliminary costing and feasibility purposes only. Always consult an engineer to conduct a final design. Tobin will offer a range of design services and can commission full construction drawings upon request. If you have any queries, please contact us.